As she gradually regained consciousness, the first sensation that registered was the unyielding surface pressing against her back, accompanied by a throbbing ache in her left leg. Slowly opening her eyes, she found herself gazing up at the towering rafters of a colossal ceiling that arched overhead. Confused and disoriented, she struggled to sit upright. Clenched within her right hand was an unexpected object. Ellie Farnfield, a 27-year-old London resident, had been a fitness instructor and was pursuing studies to become an acupuncturist in her spare time. On this particular day, she had embarked on her usual commute from Red Hill, Surrey, to London's Victoria Station. However, her routine took an unexpected turn, and the most alarming aspect was that Ellie had no recollection of what had transpired. Ellie epitomized health and fitness, a testament to her role as a fitness instructor at Rabble, a social fitness club designed to incorporate team games into fitness routines for individuals of all ages and fitness levels. She had never exhibited any signs of health problems or disorders until that ominous day. One seemingly ordinary November evening, Ellie awaited her train amidst a throng of commuters, hoping for its punctual arrival to avoid missing her class. She cherished her job, especially witnessing the personal transformations of those attending her sessions as they embarked on their fitness journey. Little did Ellie know, that evening would bring a transformation of her own. When the train finally pulled in, Ellie stepped onto the platform and joined the bustling crowd inside the train carriages. With all the seats already occupied at this hour, she found a spot beside fellow passengers by the window and prepared for the train's departure. As the train began its slow journey, the tide of commuters swayed backward, intensifying the crush of people behind Ellie. She took a sip from her water bottle, appreciating the convenience of her commute. What would normally be a one-hour car trip had been condensed into a mere 28-minute train ride. Ellie anticipated her prompt arrival at her destination, or so she believed. Approximately 10 minutes into the journey, Ellie began to experience an unusual sensation. Her mouth grew parched, an insatiable thirst engulfing her. A crushing headache, like an elastic band tightening around her head above her ears, set in. This discomfort started to radiate to other parts of her body, and her arms tingled. Ellie began to feel lightheaded and claustrophobic, and a wave of nausea surged from her stomach, leaving a metallic taste in her mouth. Initially, she suspected low blood sugar, realizing that skipping lunch had been a mistake. Clinging to the metal railing for support, she hoped these sensations would subside, knowing she was trapped in a crowded train. She silently prayed for relief. Suddenly, Ellie's vision blurred, and a whooshing sound filled her ears. Darkness encroached from the corners of her sight, gradually expanding and deepening. She fought against it, repeating to herself, I can't pass out on the train, no, 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 until the darkness overtook her, and she plummeted into unconsciousness. Unable to gauge the duration of her unconsciousness, was it hours or mere minutes? Ellie eventually regained awareness. She felt the weight of her own body, an immovable mass of flesh and bone. Concentrating, she managed to pull herself back to consciousness, opening her eyes. She found herself alone, lying flat, and when she extended her right hand, an object slipped out. Immediately, Ellie reached for her phone and purse, anxious that someone might have taken advantage of her unconscious state. Her relief was palpable as she confirmed that all her belongings remained intact. Her phone revealed 20 missed calls, and upon checking her call log, she discovered 14 outgoing calls, though she had no memory of making them. Lowering her gaze, Ellie was startled to see two paper items that had dropped from her hand. Leaning over cautiously, she retrieved them. One was a crumpled piece of paper bearing a hastily scrawled note in blue ink. What had transpired during her ordeal? Her last recollection was feeling unwell on the train and then succumbing to a disorienting fall. A sense of dread washed over her as she began to read. Eleanor, I hope by the time you read this you are feeling better, Ellie read aloud, her eyes widening in disbelief. She continued reading, you had a seizure on the train, and I took you off. You didn't hit your head. 
but I may have hurt your leg as I walked on it before realizing you were on the floor having a fit. Sorry. So she had experienced a seizure on the train. Ellie kept reading, eager to piece together the puzzle. I'm also sorry I can't stay with you now, but here is a coffee to perk you up later, the note continued. Ellie looked to her left and spotted a cup of coffee in a paper cup placed next to her. And 10 pounds to make sure you get a taxi.